and gentlemen. Today, we're learning about a new kind of word. Adverbs. Now, we know about other kinds of words. We know about nouns, which are naming words, names of people, places and things. We know about adjectives. Adjectives are describing words. So, we know that adjectives are words that describe nouns. Well, adverbs are words that describe verbs. So, take a look at this verb, run, okay? Now, we can describe how a person runs. For example, a person can run quickly. Quickly is an adverb describing the verb run. We can make adverbs by adding L-Y. Take a look at this word some. Careful plus L-Y equals carefully. Carefully is an adverb. Adverbs describe how things are done. We can very often make adverbs out of adjectives. We simply add the suffix li to an adjective to make an adverb. For example, quick is an adjective. We add the suffix L-Y to make the word quickly. Now we're going to do an activity. For this activity, you will need your whiteboard and your whiteboard marker. So, if you don't have them yet, go and get them. Fabulous. Now, I am going to put an adjective on the board. You are going to copy that adjective and then add the suffix L-Y to make an adverb. Are you ready? Your first adjective is loud. Copy the adjective loud and add the suffix L-Y to make an adverb. The adverb you should have made was loudly. Very good. Next one. Your adjective is sweet. Oh. Copy the word sweet and add the suffix ly to make an adverb. Oh, you should have done that very sweetly. All right, your next adjective is rude. Copy that adjective and then add the suffix ly to make an adverb. You should have made the adverb rudely, which is something I hope you do not do. I hope you do not do things Rudely. All right. Your next adjective <laughs> is sad. <laughs> Write the adjective sad and then add the suffix ly. <laughs> you should have written the adjective. Sadly. <laughs> Your next adjective is quiet. Write the adjective quiet and then add the suffix ly to make an adverb. Adverb. 
Last one. Write the adjective great on your whiteboard and then add the suffix ly to make an adverb. Go ahead. You should have written the adverb greatly. Did you enjoy that? Excellent. Take a look at this sentence. Miss Catherine carried her cup of tea carefully. Carefully describes how I carried my cup of tea. So, now we're ready for another activity. I'm going to put an adverb on the board. I want you to look at it and write a sentence of your own with that adverb in it. Okay? So, your first adverb is softly. Write a sentence that has the word softly in it. Remember, the word softly cannot describe a noun. You cannot say the pillow was softly. That doesn't make any sense. Softly is an adverb. It needs to describe a verb. So you could write a sentence like, the snow fell softly to the ground. How did the snow fall? It fell softly. Softly is describing the verb fell. Or you could write a sentence like, the mummy sang softly to her baby. Softly is describing the verb sang. Remember, whatever sentence you write, the adverb needs to be talking about the verb. Good. Let's take a look at another one. Bravely. Write a sentence that has the word bravely in it. Remember, bravely is an adverb. It needs to describe how someone is doing something. You cannot write a sentence like, the boy was bravely. That doesn't make any sense. An adverb never comes after the word was or is. You could write a sentence like, the knight fought the dragon bravely. How did the knight fight the dragon? Bravely. Okay, or you could write a sentence like, the little girl bravely stood up to the bully. How did the little girl stand up to the bully? She stood up to the bully bravely. The adverb describes how something is done. Okay, one more. Kindly. Write a sentence that has the adverb kindly in it. Remember, adverb describes how somebody does something. Okay, so you could write a sentence like, the girl guide kindly helped the old woman cross the street. How did the girl guide help? She helped kindly. Or you could write a sentence like, the children kindly made cookies for Miss Catherine. How did they make the cookies? 
They made them kindly. That's the kind of sentence I like. Now it's time to do your written work, which will be in your vocabulary, grammar and punctuation book. This work is to be done in your purple copybook. It is vocabulary unit four, using suffixes to form adverbs from adjectives. Let's take a look. You need pages 12 and 13. The get started. In the get started, you have sentences. Copy the sentences and underline the adverbs. Remember, the adverbs will have the suffix L-Y. In the try these, they have adjectives for you. You need to do what we did before and you need to turn those adjectives into adverbs by adding the suffix L-Y. That was like our first activity. Then you take the adverbs that you have made and put them into sentences. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is like our second activity. Okay? You take the adjectives and make them into adverbs by adding the suffix ly and then you write a sentence. Let's look at the last exercise, the now try these. In the now try these you have sentences, but the sentences are a bit boring. There's no adverbs in them. For the now try these, you think of your own adverbs and write the sentences with an adverb in each one. All right, those are your exercises. Do them in your purple copy book. Don't forget the date, the title and the page number, although I really shouldn't have to still be reminding you of those things. When you're finished, post a photo of your work to your portfolio so I can see it. It's been a fabulous lesson, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you again next time. Bye.